Yo, what's going on YouTube? Today we have another Mutt video, but this one isn't really Mutt. We are actually playing against Jback underscore 21 once again. I think I said I was going to post this video, you know, a long, long time ago. Finally getting around to it, and look at this. He goes into the end zone right away. He is the Seahawks, and we are the Oakland Raiders. We're playing in Oakland, which is kind of funny because it's snowing. Snow in Oakland, right? But, um, yeah, you'll definitely see how the snow in Oakland affects my team today. We are already down 7-0. We got Derek Carr, and how about look at that. That's what I'm talking about. One, it's really difficult to see these, uh, these white uniforms. And two... It was just a mess. The wind was bad. You could see right there. Uh, Jay Beck missed a field goal. We threw an interception, and you'll see a lot of those today. So we get the ball back after the missed field goal, and we're going on the offensive. Here's a screenplay, and we're going to pick up the first down with uh, Latavius Murray. I, I, I don't know his name exactly, uh, but... Uh, right there, we get another first down. We're driving, and you can see how difficult it actually is. Right there, Murray actually goes into the end zone, and we have tied this thing up at 7. Oh, just kidding. We're going to go for 2. Remember when I said last video, don't showboat on me? He tried to showboat on me again, and I was like, no, we're going for 2. So we take an 8-7 to seven to lead, and then we get the ball back. Now we're looking to... Go down the field and score once again. Here's Derek Carr rolling out. And why didn't I just scramble? Don't know why. We almost actually throw an interception right there. That was really lucky that we didn't. And then we do on the next play. Once again, I had all the time in the world to just scramble and pick up the first down. Just decided not to. And we give the ball right back to Jayback. We have already turned the ball over twice in this first quarter. He gets the ball now at about midfield. He throws it over to his running back. Yeah, he didn't have Marshawn Lynch in pretty much the entire game. It put actually uh, Bennett at the running back position. That was kind of weird. You can see him right here uh, at the running back position on that little cut route. But uh, yeah, he burnt me over the middle again on the next play. Goes in and makes it 14-8. to So I was surprised. Jordan's playing completely better than he did last game. And take a look at that. We get a strip fumble against us. Just everything not going our way. And the very next play goes into the end zone once again. He decides he's going to go for two. Doesn't have Marshawn Lynch in. And that's what's going to cost him right there. It's only 20-8. to eight. We get another possession right here. And we're going to throw underneath. He actually got a hit stick right there. Luckily, it wasn't a fumble. But um, we're just playing terrible right now. We get a lucky break right there with Murray going down the sidelines on a little, uh, what do you call that, a swing pass? And we go into the end zone ourselves. Pretty high scoring first half here. Uh, and it's only, you know, three minutes left in the half and it's 15 to 20. He finally realized to put in Marshawn Lynch about this time. It's third and three. We need to get a stop here. And we do a huge sack there by my team. He punts the ball. We get it back. But look at that edge pressure. Two minutes left in the second quarter. He brought a lot of heat right there. So third and 19, we're just going to go over the middle. And we can't quite hang on to it. You know, I was like, why not? We're going to go for it on fourth down. Here is Carr rolling out. And it's just as good as a punt, really. Uh, except for he gets a pretty good field position. But we turn the ball over again. That's pick number three. And we've also fumbled the ball. So he kept going back to the same play. Finally, we realize that we get an interception of our own just a couple plays later. And I probably could have taken off down the right sideline and, you know, done better than that. But um, we didn't. And then look at that. That's Murray once again going down the sidelines on a little halfback wheel pass. We're going to try to waste as much time as possible going to the end zone. And we have just taken the lead on Jay back 21. We could probably have such a bigger lead right now if, you know, we decided not to, uh, you know, throw three interceptions. But then we get lucky right there, get an interception of our own, and we can score once again. We only have two timeouts, however, uh, and we're going to have to use one right there. A great catch, though, by Amari Cooper. We're looking to get into the end zone right here, find a man wide open. That's Smith. 
and he's going to get down to the 15. We decide we're just going to take our field goal and go up by 5 going into the half. So, like I said, we're up by 5, and all we need to do is get one more stop and get a touchdown, and that should do it for us right here. He goes up on 2nd and 18, couldn't quite get the ball. So on 3rd and 18, going back to the play action, throws it over to the sidelines, and that should have been picked. We get the ball, however, and on 3rd and 16, we throw another pick. This one's going to cost us, however, Amari Cooper, or should I say, Derek Carr gets pretty lucky right there. A uh, quarterback can make the, the tackle, but um, that was pretty costly as he's in field goal range, and uh, if he gets a field goal and another field goal, he could end up winning this game. So we really need to stop here, or at least to hold him to a field goal, and uh, see what happens. He's going over the middle again, I think, yep, right there. Picks up the first down. That's with Bennett, by the way. Uh, that was his running back. He, he, it kind of kept switching them back and forth. It was like he was his backup running back. Right there, we get a huge hit stick, keeping him in or out of the end zone, I should say. And, you know, we're just looking to, for him to put up three and right there. Take a look at that. That, I think, is Woodson, and nobody's going to catch him. That is a 93 yard fumble recovery touchdown and there's no way we're gonna lose this game now final play of the third quarter right here he's going deep over the middle and I thought he caught that one that one scared me a little bit uh, but at this point uh, Jay Beck was kind of getting mad we played this game right after the other one and uh Right there, that's what really ticked him off. Was uh, he had three minutes and forty seconds to score twelve points. Luckily, on fourth down, he does get the ball back. Just kidding. We actually go for it, um, and we don't get it. But um, yeah, th he was getting pretty frustrated. Nothing was really going his way, and you know that happens in football. Right there, he gets another score, and he's cut the lead back to five. But yeah, he was kind of mad at this point just because things didn't go his way. And uh, now we are just trying to do everything we can to hang on to this lead. We actually did decide to punt him the ball. He wasted a couple of his timeouts, and now he's a minute 34 to go down the field and try to get a game-winning touchdown. Right there, we should have had a pick. I'm not going to lie about that. My guy kind of read the ball right. He just couldn't get the pick. Third and one now. This is huge. Hands it off to Marshawn Lynch. Does get the first down, and he fumbles forward, okay? This is where things actually get interesting. Right there, we get a nice block shed. We Tackle Marshawn Lynch in the backfield. Second and 13. He goes over the field. Should have had a pick right there. 44 seconds. Third and 13. Where's he going? He's going over the same play that he did all the time. And boom. Fourth and inches. This is the game. And watch this play. Has a guy wide open. And he just decides he misses it. At this point, I think Joe, uh, Jay Beck was saying words that are probably not very uh, PG rated. And I decided, I felt really bad for him. I beat him pretty badly in the Minnesota Green Bay game. And I beat him like in this game. Things just didn't go his way. And I was like, I'll decide to pass the ball. And if he gets an interception, he gets an interception and he can try to go score. Uh, but I could have knelt the ball here, knelt, kneeled the ball here, but I decided not to, and I decided I was going to keep throwing the ball. I let him, I wouldn't say I let him win as he's going to get the touchdown right here on the next play. I wouldn't say I let him win, but I gave him a chance, and uh, yeah, he was really grateful for that. He does end up winning right here, but um, actually, watch this kickoff return, though. We almost get the touchdown <laughs> Uh, juke to the outside, down the sidelines, get by his kicker, but one guy is just right over there. Uh, but yeah, I didn't let him win, but I kind of gave him a chance, and he made me pay for it. So he beat me. The series is tied 1-1. We'll have to play each other soon. Leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already. Other than that, though, we'll see you tomorrow for more.